Uh, this is Stephanie, by the way. Did you know that the Joliet Library um, has free printing of posters and gives you free headshots and all the stuff? You have a library card? They have okay. a free green screen room mm -hmm. and they will shoot your video and your podcast for you. I had no idea. Cool. Well, hello, guys. Everyone at home. <laughs> Everyone at home. We are, of course, in the fabulous Joliet office today. Uh, we have agents. We have some people that just signed up. Some more people that are here to check us out. And at home, if you are going to need the recording, because we are going to be going through a bunch of different topics today, uh, if you need the recording at home, of course, this will be, hello, welcome, how this will be recorded. Um, so what are we here for today? We actually don't have, this is such a highly visual presentation uh, in terms of what we're going to do. And I will forewarn you, no pun intended to the app, forewarn you. Um, that there is no right or wrong way to do websites except playing on the websites versus actually getting the rest of your work done. Because the reality is, is as you look at the industry, what's going on right now is nobody's talking to their database as much as they should. Everybody's a little bit slower than they were four to six months ago. And so one of the default settings as a realtor mentally is, oh, I'll just go and I will work on my website. Guess how many people are looking at your website? Not many, right? You know that. I know that. Um, so you can get caught up in this nebulous idea of I'm going to be, you know, the king of websites when in reality, that is a waste of your time and it is probably not the best idea mentally anyway, because the reality is that's just not where the world is. Where's the world traffic wise? They're on Zillow. They're on Redfin. They're on realtor.com. And so what you need to do is figure out, do I have the time to start blogging or do I want to just have my social media sing as my content and then have a really strong, all my items of value message? So where I want to go into today is really your biggest options. And so just for point of order, I have had a website since 1998, since the first week I was in the business before anybody else had a website. Um, it was before what they called the Vow IDX feature, where you could go browse on someone's individual website. Um, and so when I did that, I reserved the domain name. Boy, this is a groundbreaking domain name, guys. NickLiber.com. Wow. Okay. Just, you know, how thoughtful, right? Uh, we'll talk about domain names, the physical domain names later, because I don't want you to get even tied up into what the domain name is until you understand what your options are. Here's how much I want you to spend on your um, actual website, zero dollars and zero cents, zero dollars and zero cents. You have a built-in template from Exit that is free 99. It is free. I will show you where those live today. I will also give you the reality after having one for the you know past two years when they launched the new templates, they're absolutely beautiful, but they also require what? Maintenance, maintenance. It's like your car. If you don't maintenance it, it will break down. These site websites will of course not break down, but they will look stale. And because I always like to be transparent, I wanna show you, mine looks quite stale. See that there's dates on the blogs from 2021. Does it look like I'm actively in the business? But here's what happened is that I realized that no website template can really do as good of a job at articulating your value as a landing page with all your items of value. And so all your items of value at used to, I had an entire training on this for a year and a half called how to build a link tree. And then our friends at Zenlist said, why are you using link tree? We would like you to check something out that we're beta testing. And I said, I'll absolutely beta test anything. I love a good beta test. Show me what you have. And so they took my link tree as their prototype for what the Zen link would look like. Because here is the reality, guys. If you go on any agent website, and when I was putting this together, I went and looked at some agent websites. They all kind of look the same unless you're going to be a blogger. And then the question is, is your website even the best, best place to blog? We're going to talk about that in a minute as well. So what I would highly recommend, 
and then today there's going to be some enhancement shown to you on this, is I think you need to get one web domain name, just one, and you need to forward that to your Zen link. Because here's what is Zen link. It is all your items of value. Because no one wants to go on your website and read about, I'm going to make fun of myself, a marathon challenge that you posted from a year and a half ago, or look at a very crude IDX that does not give the private listing network and go through a bunch of stuff to actually figure out whether you're the agent for them. What do we know? Everybody's got ADD. They have a limited attention span. We want to get right to the point. And the point with Zenlist is you can go on Zillow and get about 90% of the inventory that's out there. You can go on Redfin and get about 90% of the inventory that's out there. Or you can go on my website and get all of it because you can go and request access to Zenlist. And that is what you want to focus on is that that link. That link. Yeah. Yep. That link right there. So when Zenlist and I went together to do the their, their version of, of Linktree, I said, what can we do to make it visually stimulating more than a Linktree? Um, they said, well, we, we we probably think video. And I said, I think video is the best option out there. So you have the opportunity to put whatever YouTube video you want. And by the way, there's tripods in every, every one of our offices. You can film it in here in front of the exit sign. They just need to be horizontal, not vertical. So it's not a reel. It is a straight up horizontal video because this is your first impression. And 95% of the template websites from every major franchise brand, because most of the small independents don't even have them, they don't have the ability to put video in here. And so the disconnect is you're meeting a stranger or somebody that you're prospecting to. So think about it for those of you guys that are doing the Remind Farming that I'm teaching you on, that we're starting to pick up listings from. They've never met you. And a lot of the agents are not even putting video into the first message they're sending out through Wise Agent. So if people go to a stale landing page, so I want to give you the difference here. There is a, at least this, because I worked on it, the exit templates can have scrolling stuff. It's a little bit interactive, right? But where am I? Where's my video? You got to scroll down. It's, you know, there's nothing wrong. These are cute templates and there's uses for them. But do you have the time to put it together? Nope. I'm seeing, and, and, I, and guys, I'm living proof. I do technology all day. And here's a stale website. And the reason why is I realize that no matter how beautiful the website is, I can't get all my items of value to line up the same way that Linktree did and now Zenlist did to replace it. And here's what we love about this. This is free 99. It is built into your subscription that I pay for in Zenlist. So why not make it easy on yourself? Because as we know, Zenlist is a super easy tool. And here's another great thing. You don't need a domain name if you don't want one. But if you want one, you don't have to go to anyone to ask permission. So for those of you at home that have had to go through the very easy process, but there is still a process of asking Exit Realty International for the pleasure of forwarding your domain name to their site. You know, it takes a couple of days. I know we're all instant gratification people, or at least you're looking at one. Uh, for those of you in the classroom, look at me. I want it now. Mm -hmm. And I probably want it yesterday. So I don't have time to go to somebody else. And some of my high D personalities don't even want to ask somebody. Else. Karen's like, yep, don't want to even want to ask somebody else. And neither do I. And so let's take that out of the mix. If you wanted to go and build out that beautiful site, and if anybody from Exit Corporate's listening to me, I love these templates. I'm very thankful for them. If you want to be a blogger, which I still have grand plans to be a blogger and fly the drone that I haven't even gotten out of the box yet um, above my neighborhood and start doing cool stuff. We ain't there yet, my friends. And in the meantime, I've got this easily done template. But if you wanted to link your actual, if you've done work in your exit realty template and you spent some time blogging or things like that, you can add a link to it. And so for a while, I literally had a link that said Nick's consumer website, or you could have all about Nick. If the little bio isn't enough for you, 
which you can move around anywhere, but you've got that bio that I've helped some of you write, right in your Zen list. If you need to do more, you want to be an overachiever, I love it. You can go for free and make your exit realty template absolutely amazing. And you don't need to reserve a domain name then. Because here's what I like, keep it simple, stupid. And you know, stupid is the person that is probably normally operating the computer, in this case, me. I don't like to have, well, you can go here for this. You can go there for that. And that's what we were running into is that if it's, it's too many places to go, too many places to go. So this solves everything for you. But I wanted to then take this to the next level because this training is not new because we've had the Zen links out for about 12 weeks now. I will tell you who's the number one agent in Chicago, Matt Laracy. He's a good friend of mine. Matt Laracy, by the way, did not, he's not at a franchise. He doesn't need marketing for other people. Matt Laracy has a great business model. His dad owns that little brokerage that they are. So don't tell me it's a brand that's powering you. Matt switched to this as well. For those of you guys that read your email this morning, the Daily Dose, Zenless came out with their top agent profiles. It was Matt Laracy, myself, and one other person. So if you're, you know, do you want to learn from top people? Look what we're doing. And Matt sells a lot more real estate than me through his team. So you've got people telling you this is easier, this is quicker, this is free, and it's better for the consumer. Because at the end of the day, if I found a product that was you know $100 a month that was better, I'd probably try to figure out a pay, way to pay for it for you or tell you about it. There isn't one. Being obsessed with an IDX feed is useless because the best IDX feeds are at the massive websites that already have all the traffic. Your traffic is going to be who you promote this website to. So it has to have instant value. A templated website, and I'm not going to name the competitors, but you know, some of them have an ampersand or some other symbol, or you know, it, what's when you're looking to go in a certain direction, you need a compass. Um, I just don't find any of the agent sites compelling at all, and they spend lots of money on the technology. This is all your items of value laid out in one place. So, for those of you that have been through this training with me before, we're going to do two things you haven't done yet. We're going to walk through the different items of value that I have, and I'm going to add an extra one today. And then for those of you guys that have not reserved a domain name yet, you have one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to show you how to reserve your domain name and to forward it to your Zenlink. And at that point, guys, it is really up to you if you want to do the email forwarding as well to your Gmail and kind of have that fully branded experience. Because remember, you can forward to Gmail and it can cloak your Gmail. So if you get an email from me, what does it say? Nick at nicklibrary.com or nick at teamlibrary.com because I was stupid and had two websites uh, because I didn't want to get rid of the exit template. I think for you guys, let's just run with the Zen link because it's such a more powerful tool, tool for the consumer. So let's get right into it. Guys at home, I will look at your questions at the end um, in the classroom and at home. If you do not have a video yet, that's absolutely okay. Um, at some point soon, I'd like you to get a video. Even if it is a, I'm not intentionally staring at you. It's just easy to turn to my right, Karen. Um, so if you go into Zenlist and go into your public profile, that is where you're going to add any items of value. The whole focus here is what makes you different, right? What makes you different and what do you commonly have people ask you for or you're hoping that people will ask you for? Well, let's think about that. Number one, I think your social feed. So you'll notice that mine, it says add new section. You will probably have a couple extra buttons there. One of which will be, do you wanna add your Google um, reviews? Another one will be, do you wanna add your social media? And then it has the links for that. And you can do more than one video. Here's my recommendation. Keep it simple, stupid. Do one. Do one that covers everything quickly. So I have not put that up there yet. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that today because I have that eight-minute video that says, here's why you should work with me. Um, so let's get into this stuff. So besides these pieces, you can add whatever URL link you want. So what do I have so far? Number one, I have a guide for buyers. A guide for buyers. What is that? That is your digital presentation. So I did a generic digital presentation and I've shown you how to do that. 
the digital presentation that's generic, it doesn't have anybody's name on it. So you can send it that's right there on your Zen link so that guess what? They can go in, they can fill out the buyer survey. They can get all the cool information about what it's like to work with a, you as a buyer's agent, all this stuff already pre-done. And if they fill out the buyer survey, guess what happens? All that information goes to your wise agent. Would you be putting that under, I'm sorry, I missed it, video or the URL link? It is a URL link because that's not a video. Okay. Yep. Good question. So that is the buyer guide. And again, where else do you find, hey, here's, if you want a little bit more information until I get a chance to meet with you, this is, you can send this when you're driving down the road. This could be your social media link. This should be your social media link. This should be everywhere. Because what does Zenlist tell you? Get your Zen link out there. And they even create a QR code for you. So you want to make sure, I would say, that all your items of value are right on there. Because right up at the top here, here's the Zen link, which we're going to show you how to forward a domain name to. And then there's the QR code download. So they've got all that done. You don't have to create a website. You don't have to do a QR code. It's all done. But what do I want you to add? Okay, so we talked about the digital buyer presentation and it has the survey on it. And if they want to download a PDF, it's right there. Then what's the next one? And again, I know mine are slightly out of order compared to what you're seeing, but I'm going to explain why in a second. The next thing down, digital seller guide. So my guide for sellers. You click on that. There's the updated, beautiful, generic, nobody's name is on it. Because guess what? It's not for a specific person. But this is literally your listing presentation right there. And then what is to the right? They can download as a PDF and they can send it as, they can fill out their seller survey. So you can find out more about them. And that also uploads to your wise agent because wise agent, the CRM I provide you is the only one that interacts with the exit tools. What's next? Well, I'm glad you asked. Next on this list is view live market stats for Chicagoland. Now, this is the office stats that we have on Chicagoland. It's right from our office website. So there's that long address, that long address right there. If you need that long address, you can also just text strategy stats all one word, 285377, and you'll get that link. So if you don't have to put that on there, if you don't want 100 items of value, do you? You want like seven to 10 max because you don't want to flood this thing. But this is a nice thing with all the, you know, here's, oh, look, there's the February stats are out. Um, this is automated. It's already done for you. It is on our, on our uh, office page. So you don't have to update them. You don't have to worry about me updating them. It's, this is automatic. The technology from uh, InfoSparks, I've got it updating automatically. It is Chicago land data. If you want to go crazy and start doing some neighborhood videos or some Joliet wide videos from my Joliet friends, we were just talking about content here a couple of minutes ago. This would be amazing for you to do maybe on your own page, on your own social media. You could link it to your social media wherever you want to do that. So there's huge items of value right there. What have we been talking about the last two weeks that I just got certified in? Realtors Property Resource. There is now a way on Realtors Property Resources. They updated the app yesterday. So they sent all of us that are certified trainers a note last night to say, go and update the app. There's a new mobile market stats feature, which will be great for you to do screen shares and start sharing that content at a hyper-local level. But again, keeping it simple, stupid, right now, you can just have the office-wide stuff. And it even has a message for you on there that says your agent can give you these for speci any specific area you're researching. So that's an option. You don't have to add that. I won't be offended if you don't, but it's a thought. What do I have there next? This is new. So I'm glad that you are here if you've been here before and you just don't like to hear my voice over and over again with the same content. What do I have here? Nick's Lifetime Client Concierge Portal. Well, what the heck is that? That's your move concierge, guys. That's your move concierge that you had set up. So how do you invite people to that in mass? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's the front page of it. 
So you will have, it is your normally your first name, dash or last name, dot the vendor dot com. And there's where they sign up. So for those of you that have yet to sign this out, send this out to all your past clients. For those of you that have yet to send out a Zen link to all your past clients, wouldn't it be smart if you had all this stuff on one page? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So mm -hmm. that's a great feature. I'm going to add one today because I'm going to show you how easy it is to add one. So check out my Zillow reviews. I may take that out. The reason why is I've already got my Google reviews. It's automatic. Your Google reviews are automatic in there if you've got the Google business page. Schedule time with Nick. That's my Calendly. In a perfect world, someday I would love to have an enterprise level Calendly so you all could have the Calendly premium from me, but that would require more people to use strategic titles so I can have more revenue coming in. That's a plug, guys. Um, in the meantime, you can go get a Calendly free account. I do love the idea of Calendly because if these people are so motivated, you know, they can go in here and request access to your Zen list. You're going to get a notification on that. They can fill out their buyer seller guide. You're going to get a notification if they do. What you won't get a notification of is if they're just on this site and they have questions. Calendly is a great option for that. And Calendly, the free version, it's decent. It's enough until I, until Papa Liber can buy you more. All right. Then the next two I'm going to leave out for now. Because obviously you will not be giving people access to my private coaching blog, please. Um, what you could add, what if you're in a mentoring mode? If you want to help the company grow, there's a third guide that's out there. You know what it is? The sponsoring guide. You guys should have the sponsoring guide on there. And I should too. I don't have it on there yet. What do I think is missing? And by the way, if you don't have a lot of sales stats, do not feel self-conscious. You can take that off. Any of this stuff you can take off. If this is blank, basically, it'll have your contact information and it'll have any social media links. And the biggest mess, not mess, mistake that I made when I started adding all my items of value, this request access button fell all the way down to the bottom because I just kept adding stuff on top of it. And the nice people at Zenlist that created, the programmers that created this beta test they saw me do that and they said, why did you move your request access down to the bottom? I'm like, oh, it is down to the bottom. It doesn't matter. And they're like, it does. Because you get somebody that just wanted access to listings. They could care less about who you are. They just want the, they just want the value of Zenless. They don't want to read through all that stuff. So how do you keep things at the top? Well, I am glad you asked. Let me show you that. So mine says connect. It doesn't say request access. Is that okay? Let me see. Mine to the top, it says connect. I don't see anywhere that says request to access. Because you've got it all the way down at the bottom, Heather. So Heather had her, so Heather's is exactly the way that the they asked me not to do that. And the reason why is you want to keep it up towards the top. And I probably say if you have a video right beneath your video, and if you don't have a video, I put it right at the top and have your social media right beneath that. And the reason why is that is your biggest item of value. How do you get things to move? All right, let me show you. So the piece that is important that we're saying don't move it anywhere else is it's called main profile. Do you see this? Main profile. And so main profile or anything else, see where you can move it? All this stuff, it's like a toggle. Oh, oh, yeah. All that's like a toggle. So keep your main profile. I told you there'd be new content today, friends. Making me work. Making I know, me I know. God, I imagine that, me pushing you, making, <laughs> making us better. Um, so that is, so Karen, you got it? Okay. So all you need to do is just keep in mind that should be at or near the top, but the video is so compelling if we can get a video up there for you. If we can get a video up for you, there for you, to be great. If not, don't worry about it. Just get some visual stuff towards the top and make sure that main profile, it's the first time I've said it this way, so let's do it. Main profile is up there towards the top. What's new? Well, we talked about the move portal which is great, the Lifetime Client Concierge Portal, which each one of you have access to and all your clients have access to for free. What else do we just launch? The Tax Appeal Portal. Now, please note the Tax Appeal Portal is only for Cook County at this point. We have grand plans for it to expand beyond that. But if you want to link 
that to your public site from Zenlist, how do you get to that portal? Well, let me show you. So right on our office page, you can go into, so exitstrategymovesyou.com, click on resources, and then drop down to property tax review. And then there's this long domain name. So if you don't want to type in that long domain name today, but you want to get that domain name to update your Zen list later, you just text taxes to 85377 and it will take you directly to the little portal. Okay. Portal's free, works on residential properties, not so much on commercial properties. It is, you do not have to be the owner of the property to use it. So if somebody's looking to buy a property and wants to see if their little algorithm thinks it might be eligible for a, a tax appeal, they are more than happy to do that for them for free. So that would be a great thing to add, wouldn't it? I think so. So if you go and want to add any page, not just this one, but any page to your Zen link, here's how you do it. You go to whatever page that is, and then you copy that link. And then after you copy that link, you're going to go to your Zen link. And then you're going to click on add new section, right? And then you are going to where it says URL, you're going to paste that URL. And then the title. And the nice thing is they don't see that URL because isn't that ugly? That is just ugly. Now, of course, I have a bit.ly link and the text code, but the reality is that all forwards to this god awful long thing. So that's where you find that. And then the title of it. Now, the way that I phrased it strategically, haha, is this. I have called it property tax appeal, property tax review portal, because it's not an automatic appeal, right? Property tax review, property tax review portal. And by the way, you can call it Nick's or your, I mean, you can call it yours. Doesn't have to be our, you can say what, however you want to phrase it. I'm not picky. This technology is for all of you from us. So let's go into the Zen link. And then for the title, you my Cook County property, or it's like Cook County property tax resources. Three. Property tax review. When you click on add section. Now you see over here, there's a live preview. Do I want that at the top? Absolutely not. I'm going to move that down. So what am I going to do? That toggle. I'm going to move that way down. Right next to the, my other client items of value. So see? Now it's down there. Boom, done. I'm starting to get, I'm almost kind of over my limit in my little brain of what I want on there. How do you take something out? <laughs> oh, wow. Let's do this. Delete. Or you can do it like with the toggle. So see, it is not gone. It's just not showing up. So it's on pause like some of the real housewives, for those of you that like my jokes about housewives. Um, it's on pause, but it can always come back. What would be really smart? Now, this is next level. I used to do this with my link tree. It got me into trouble because sometimes I wouldn't update it. What if you have an open house on one of your listings and you wanted your Zen link to include the open house on that listing? Now, obviously it has all your listings down on this terrible little map at the bottom, which is cute if you have the map up, but you could go right into the Exit Resource Center and that individual property website, the same way I showed you how to cut and paste that, you could cut and paste that right up to the top of your, or wherever you wanted it and say, open today, two to 4 p.m. Open today, two to 4 p.m. So that would be a huge resource for those of you that have this QR code maybe on your signs, et cetera. So for those of you that hate paper, scan, co scan code here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Scan code here. And that could be on your signs. That could be everywhere. Would be really, really cool. I tested this out on my Damon listing and it was a hit. People loved it. Like, oh my God, it's right on your, you know, how often do you update that? 
just do it in the middle of the night because those text codes come out the minute you put the MLS up and then untoggle it or un make it, put, take it off pause. And there it is. So if you've got listings coming up, just get it ready for it. Get ready for it. It can be right in the position you want. You just pause it or unpause it. Imagine that. All my items of value, including that expert marketing suite, individual property website. And remember, this is the only company, any brokerage, this is the only company any, of any brokerages that has the PDF ability. So when you go on, for example, my Damon listing, all the condo docs, the floor plans, all that stuff was there right as a PDF. So if you don't know how to get to your individual property websites, I have an entire video for you, LOL, for those of you that hate my videos. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is the Zen list, Zen link. This is the all your items of value in one place. So I'm going to pause the share for one second, and I'm going to see if there's any questions that I can address from that share before I go on to showing you how to reserve the domain name. Okay, so I had two good. So a question, a comment. You can. Charles is at. Charles is at the next level. Charles at the next level on this. He's saying, well, you can do subdomains and things like that. Absolutely, Charles, you can. I'm going to tell you, I don't because I just am not that proficient in doing so. So I have built out all these links, and I would just prefer everybody see all the items of value at once because for me to custom tailor the subdomains and then have a memory that recalls all the subdomains. I'm not that slick anymore, guys. I don't know what's going on with my brain, but um, too much up there and not enough caffeine. So you can do subdomains. Charles has got a great idea with that. And there is in GoDaddy, that dangerous little subdomain category, which I've always had some problems figuring out. And then Edna asked the question, well, if we give out all this free information, what's to say they won't go to a different agent? Well, guess what? If they sign up for Zenlist, that's the only way they get the access to the private listing network listings. You're their agent. You are at least the Zenlist account for them until they would find someone else. You know, um, it's very rare that somebody is going to take all this information and go give it to another agent. And if they do, guys, you have unlimited accounts. You know, if you start getting seeing somebody in there that's not responding to you at all or is saying, hey, my agent is too broke to get Zenlist. Um, okay, great. You know what? Turn them off then. I'm not like that. I am a I'm an a abundance mindset, not a scarcity mindset. I used to be a scarcity mindset and everything was behind a firewall. And you know how many people looked at my website? Nobody. Nobody wanted to go in and log in with their information to get all my items of value. So I understand the mindset, but I don't agree with it. So um, if they want to get the property tax appeal information, good. So be it. Be a resource for your community. If everything has to have them hooked into you to work with you, you're going to have a real hard road. It is, it is what it is. That's why I provide all this stuff for free. You're not paying for the seats. I am. Don't worry about it. So don't put it behind a firewall. There's actually no way to do it. And I won't train you on how to do it. Uh, the firewall is they sign up for Zenlist. That's the firewall. Um, and all the rest of this stuff is free. And again, if they're filling out a buyer guide or a seller guide to learn how to buy or sell, I think that they're willing to talk to you and not another agent because that other agent didn't give this information. I've said that to people. I'm like, well, where's your agent with all this stuff? What planet are they living on? So I'd rather over give, over give. Okay, so let's talk now about the good questions though, guys. Let's talk about how to forward a domain name. So you can go to whatever provider you want. I will tell you, GoDaddy is the one that both Laura Medina, our operations manager, and I understand. It also seems to be the cheapest for most people. So go to GoDaddy. I do not have an affiliate code with them, so I'm not trying to promote them. Um, so here are all my products in there. You can reserve whatever domain name you want. Keep in mind... you. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, so what we're going to do is I don't want you to focus too much on what the domain name is, except to say, you know, what would be amazing. What if your domain name matched or had something similar to your digital business card? So if your digital business card is Libert, 
I wish that the domain name Libert.com was available. I'm trying to buy it. Because wouldn't it be like, text Libert to 85377, go to Libert.com. Don't overthink it though. If you, a lot of you that have been here a while, you've been using that digital text, that digital text code, uh, your business card for a long time, you're used to it. You know, it's up to you. If you wanted to change it, you can change that at any time. But the thought of, you know, having your domain name match or be similar to is kind of cool if you wanted to, and you haven't bought this stuff already. You know, I have the two domain names because the one forwards to the the cute exit template. The other one, Team Libert, goes to my actual um, Zen link. I just don't think you need 8,000 websites. I think you need one. Keep it simple, stupid. And then also, if the domain name isn't available that matches what your digital business card is, you can play around with it and change your digital business card because I don't see a lot of you really promoting that heavily. If you don't have a lot of printed material with that digital business card, you could go in and just change your digital business card. So mine matches to the to my website for access. There is no website for access. Well, you know, like our um, yeah. our our website. What used to be what Heather, used to be SSL Chicago. Yeah, Harvard. which does not exist. Right. Yep. Those do not exist. I'm gonna say this. I've been saying this for you have a domain name available. So there, when we did Exit Cells Chicago, which no longer exists, uh, the reason why it no longer exists is that we can't went to, we don't just sell in Chicago anymore. So we launched and spent a lot of time and money on exitstrategymovesyou.com. Let's actually address this. I don't think your website domain name should have anything about exit in there. You know why? I'm assuming we're going to be, you're, we're going to be working together forever. But in reality, it's not about exit, it's about you. And be careful about Joliet. Karen sells Joliet. Or you are a real estate agent. You sell homes, but you also sell condos. So be careful with that. I think your name is a great way to sidestep everything else. You know, see what's, what versions of your name are available and match that to your digital business card. Okay. Yep. And if you, by the way, let me show you a little trick. I'm going to go slightly off topic for one second. Let me show you a little trick. If you wanted to keep the, if you liked your digital business card um, name, but you wanted to explore what else is out there, you do realize you have two of them. And the second one is it relates to uh, just the like, if you're wherever you're at, you can text this and get the 10 nearest properties around yeah, you yeah. feature, which is really cool because it works all across the US and Canada. So when right around July 4th, Memorial Day, Labor Day, I'll always use mine. Uh, I got an old TikTok on it. You can go back and look at it. It's cool because wherever you are, it connects you to geolocationally, the 10 nearest things from any company near you. So what you do is you can have a second text code. But again, I don't even use that one. And the reason why is I just don't want to confuse people or myself. So it's loading up while that's loading up. So give me yours, a second. Yours kind of like mine. So here's my website, Homes with Heatherland, and it takes you to that key. Now, Karen only says website. Is there a way to change it so it says like Karen Micah? Absolutely. Click on edit. Oh, yeah. Yep. Wait, click on edit. Oh, I can edit. So we'll come back to that exit piece in a second because there's a lot of us in here using the internet at once. Um, let me go to how to move the domain name once you reserve it from yourself with no man, no host, nothing to forward it to Zenlink. Okay, so let's watch this. So I'm gonna show you when you have a, so first of all, you can search for a new domain name. Right here, see the, see the bar, search for new domain name. And here's what I would do. Again, I'm focusing on the word Libert because that is what I have on my text code. So uh, let's talk about Com, Inc, all this other stuff. Go cheap, go cheap, go cheap and easy. The shorter the domain name, the easier it is to remember. But also, I just go see if your name's available. There's some of you that have some common names. Some of you do not. Um, you can go through and play this. They do magically say, oh, you can buy. See where I've got in my cart 
where I was um, thinking about trying to buy Libert.com. If a domain name you're really hot and heavy for is not available, they can, for a broker fee, try to go find it for you and then try to buy it from that company or individual that owns it. Guys, don't spend the money. Don't spend the money to do that. I just wanted to show you what that is. If you're like, oh my gosh, I really have to have it. You can do, you know, Libert Inc. is nine, $1,000 a year. Remember, you got to pay that renewal fee when they renew. Be careful. This is why I don't have 100 websites and why Charles is smart with doing the subdomains if he wants to point to a bunch of different stuff. But you can play with that however you want. Um, just consider you're going to have to pay for it again and again in the, in the years to come. So if you're trying to be fancy, maybe you know, team Heather or something like that. You know, you can go do whatever that is. So once you buy it, it's going to go in your cart. Once you buy it, here's the great thing about Zenlink. It's super easy to forward it. There's no one to ask approval of, and it doesn't have a bunch of dots behind it either. It's really easy. So you go into, once you've bought it, it's going to ask you what you want to do with it. And so if you only have one, it's real easy because it just literally sits there. This is why, of course, I have all these different websites, uh, which I wish I did not have. And someday we'll start narrowing them down. So here's my team library one. And see where it says quick links, forward domain. You're going to scroll down and see where it says forward to any site. It can forward directly to whatever website. Oh, like Zenlist, there it is. And then it's gonna ask you some questions. And it's gonna basically say, it's gonna take two minutes, but then do you want it to be permanent or temporary? You don't want it to be temporary, do you? No, you want it to be permanent. Let me give you a little secret about permanent. You can change it at any time. Got it? <laughs> it's demi-permanent. It's like my highlights. <laughs> demi-permanent. See, I told you I got jokes today, y'all. <laughs> or like my spray pan, not permanent at all. Um, so click on permanent. And then, so this, this is the one that's kind of like, do you want to mask it or not? I'm on the fence on this. I think forward only. It says Zen list the minute we get to it. You know, I, I at the beginning. Yeah, of my time, I mean, the boys got some goods. And, know. you know, they're, they're going to try to sell too. it to everybody anyway, mm -hmm. um, to the other realtors. But forward with masking does look a little fancier. So you will see when you forward with masking, if you go to my website, let me go into it. Hold on. Finally, the corporate one, too many things open today you'll see where it says it stays on teamlibert.com for my branding. So I do forward with masking. Some people don't do the forward with masking because they say on certain browsers, it shows up a little funny, not the actual content, but the top, like, you know, see where it says not secure. I don't care. Um, it looks, the Zenless is actually more beautiful on mobile by far. And the reason why is that 80% of browsers are mobile. So they know that. Um, I would expect more cool things to come that I can't show you uh, today with the Zen link. But the bottom line is don't overthink any of this. Zen link should take you 10 minutes to set up. Your GoDaddy should take you 10 minutes to set up. I will tell you this much. If you would like my advice on anything, I'm more than happy to, you know, give you ideas when you come to me with what's available. Do not have me go shopping on GoDaddy for you. I will not do it. So you can come to me and say, these are the domain names available and make sure to say, is it .com or .info? I love .com. I love .co. .info is okay. You are not an organization. You are not an EDU, even though sometimes I feel like secretly I am. Um, you are you. And so I think it should be branded to you. I don't think it should have the words exit in it. I don't think it should have the words realty in it. That's an IDFPR thing, remember? So, you know, that's, I, and remember, the minute you put the word homes, I learned this lesson the hard way, guys. How many years of branding and money and signage did I have exitsellschicago.com? And then I realized we're in Joliet, we're in Plainfield, we're in Skokie, we're in Evanston, we're in Rockford, we're everywhere. And I didn't want to say the state, because what if we start selling more across state lines? Hit, hit. So come on, 
that's the website for you should not tie you into a geolocation and it should not tie you into a certain type of product. Now that we've said all that, let's talk a little bit about what you could do with the exit template if you wanted to go crazy, because it is beautiful. They are mobile optimized. I would like you all to consider to start blogging. I would like you all to consider about blogging. My next, Heather's like, oh. I hired last week that was in the office. <laughs> I want to hire her excuses to blog for me. The guy, I mean, you can hire Brandon, uh, but here's the problem. It's not you then. Where's your face? You know, where's your face? People are going to bond. You know, this is a old bloated picture of me. I think this is when I was still drinking a lot. I don't know. Uh, but the content's wrong, but it's still at least me. You know, I've got to get more video content for myself and you guys have to get more video content for yourself. Beyond just this cute intro video you would do in Zenlink, here's what you should be doing. Hyper-local neighborhood reports. Hyper-local neighborhood reports. Now, wouldn't you know, we are almost at our end of time because these sessions are supposed to last under an hour. Guess what RPR did? They did the now mobile market analysis. Mo I'm sorry, the mobile market reports. I'm going to have an entire class. It's going to be our second round of RPR, Strickland RPR mobile. Here's the, here's the gag on it, though. I'm going to do it from my phone. So because here's the other piece of all this. If you start blogging, you will get SEO, search engine optimization. We all know that. If you start blogging on, well, in Chicago, the market prices went down. Uh, I bet you 20 other realtors are doing that right now as we speak because the new stats just came out. Do hyperlocal. What if you said something just to your neighborhood? You have, or to a zip code. You have 2,500 emails a day through Wise Agent. It is the highest capability per day per user of you any CRM. Focusing on anyways, is your neighborhood. I know, I don't but like going signs. That yep. And do you know why there's there? Because no, you haven't reached out enough. You haven't built a relationship. And here's the thing is, and I'm going to go back to Matt Laracy as an example, guys. Matt Laracy has lots of content. He has lots of content and he's not at a major brand. So don't let, oh, well, you know, I, what brand should I be at? Has nothing to do with the brand. It has to do with what you do with what you've got. He's in a small independent his dad owns and is hustling with content. He and I are the only people doing the immersive drone videos. You don't need an immersive drone today. You need to get content out to your neighborhood so you get the listings, period, period. And start talking to buyers that way, period. And what is the tool that is best for you to grab people? Zenlist. But how are you going to get even them to notice you? Let's talk about the market at a hyper local level. So that is going to be our next training, RPR Mobile. I'm going to do it for my mobile phone because conveniently I will be with my mommy for the weekend. Uh, so I'm celebrating her birthday and I'll be mobile. And I am super excited to bring it to you because I've been playing with it. And I will show you how to create hyper local content that then whether you just put it on Instagram, I'm almost leaning to say, don't even worry about the office website. Make sure your bio and your picture are on your exit resource center profile because that's building out the basics of anything. If you ever want to do a recruiting website, it's right built in. That template can be either all about you or it can be all about exit. It's real easy. All about exit's already done for you. Obviously, we have the hyper local, quote unquote, content of Project X and our splits and our caps and our tools for free that we do. Um, in someday in a perfect world, I'll have more of a better polished video on that. But in the meantime, you know how to get a hold of me to show it to people. You need to figure out what you want to do in terms of hyper local content. What areas? Is it zip codes? Is it neighborhood specific? And then I will show you in our next training where to put it because I think social media is the easiest way to put it somewhere. And then you can create, and I will show you how to put it in your actual website. So if you want to see, remember teamliver.com is my Zen link. I'm going to keep nickliver.com for a while, just to show you what you can do with the website that you are given through exit corporate. But a lot of you, I don't think I have time to update it. And here's the problem. 
you're updating it now. When are you going to update it again? When you bring it up. When you bring it up. When I the next time I bring it up, don't tell me that Heather. That's scary. All right. So I think we've kind of together talked through this. Um, you don't need a template from them because you've got the Zen link that's easy, plug and play. And it's super easy and it doesn't need to be updated, but it could be updated with whatever you want it to be, like your next open house or like your next blog. Read my latest blog post. And where does that blog post go? It could be on LinkedIn. So everybody sees it. It could be on social media somewhere else because there's URLs for some places. So we'll play with that together. But all I want you to do tonight or today, right after this, get your Zen link updated the way we showed you to whatever you want on there. I gave you suggestions and then make sure that you've updated the RPR mobile app. So I have time for a couple of questions from home. I am going to go ahead and pause the share, even though the recording's going. Could you add the city of violation? Um, no, my link is none of this stuff, Jolyn. Uh, my link okay. for the my link for Cook County is our property tax appeal portal that we just launched. Has nothing okay. to do with the other stuff. Is there a rule okay. that about adding realty? I would prefer uh, you need to talk to Eve for the full list. And I know on signage, it shouldn't say realty. I believe you'll need to talk to Eve. I'm not real comfortable on realty on there either, because does that make it look like you own your own brokerage? Um, so if you ran and did that, um, or you've been running with that, you may want to talk to Eve. You may want to talk to Eve. Yeah. But what is that? That's just, a, that's your text message code. No, that's not your, website. Yeah. we'll talk about that. What are your thoughts on masking with a subdomain? I wouldn't, I, personally, I've not done it a lot. You actually have Charles. Charles Grandison might be able to fill you in a little bit more. I don't do a lot of subdomain stuff. Hey, hey Nick, this subdomain. is Charles. Subdomain is like, well, that, actually, Charles gave us an example. Uh, CharlesGrandison.com slash Zenlist. But again, do I want to show him just one item of value? Do I want to give him the whole kit and caboodle? I'm driving down the road. I'm like, go to my website, go to my website, go to my website, or text my code. Because remember, let's talk about the text codes for one more second, guys. We got two minutes. Great questions, guys. In the resource center, I would recommend the mobile business card. I sign back into the resource center. And let me go ahead and screen share again for you. And I know that this is a long session. This will be recorded and put on the, the webs. So Nick, I have a question. Yes, Charles. So basically, essentially you're saying that at some point in time, we might even not use uh, uh, the exit branded um, site, just use the Zen list site and then put everything on there. At some point is today. At some point is today, sir. I don't think you need to promote that. Have you used your template at all? No, not really. I put like maybe one video on it. That's about it. Who's ordered? And, and, and uh oh, Charles. Charles, oh, September 2021. This is the thing. Charles put extra time and effort into doing something great. And he's got to update it constantly or it looks like he's not in business. Yeah, Guess who right. else did that, Charles? Don't feel bad. Your coach did the same thing. <laughs> and then we got busy. And we're always going to be busy or distracted or something else is going on. Look at this. October 1st. I'm, I beat you by a month. <laughs> 2021. so don't feel bad guys i'm just being this is why you need a coach that is actually doing the business with you and willing to admit and fail forward this is why we're doing this today is i realize those templates are beautiful but they're either going to be static without items of value or you're going to be in them all the time and my concern is if you're going to be a professional blogger and uploading stuff constantly are you really out doing other stuff so Guys, I want to show you one more thing. If you are using your text code properly, so mine is text liber to 85377, look at this reply message. 
see all my items of value. And here's what I'm going to do. Uh, you can also just type in and see where it's right there. So your it says whatever you want it to say. They have accidentally given you at Exit Realty Corporate extra room beyond the digital business card. So see where it says when I text in Liebert, you can feel free to try it out right now. There's my Zen link. And then beneath that, I just put my digital business card because they automatically are going to have that message at the end with the link. Nick, I so love you, that. Can you show me where to find that? I'm in exit, but I don't know if it's under the resource tab or what. Yes. My text. So, yep. Yep. No problem. From the top. Let me show you. Let me get us out of there uh, in the video. So you go into exitrealty.com. And here, I'll just go back to the beginning here. Let me do this from the top. See, I'm squeezing every last piece out of this stuff. That is the point of Project X. You go into exitrealty.com. You sign in, and then you scroll under my mobile business card. And then your custom text code is whatever you want it to be. And then see on item two on the left-hand side, Oh, this is great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I can change the text code too if I want to. I've been working this. You can change not only the text code, you can say change what it says. So I love it. The thank you. Thank you. The digital business cards are great. We love them like we love the exit templates. I want you to keep that. But remember, it will automatically say that. So what I put as language in addition is see all my items of value. And I put that in caps. And then I put right beneath that, the actual, my Zen link. You could also just do your domain name once your domain name is ready. And then I put a little space. And then I put in all caps again, my digital business card. And notice it doesn't need the link because it will insert the link to your digital business card. So they get all your items of value. And they get your, uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. And yep. you could get your, your link for your mobile business card. That's where you got that to put it on your, on your website. Cause that's the, one of the first things on your website too. Exactly. I saw. I'm like, oh, he's got a business card there. Yep. And then, so, and it's right there. We got some people going next level today. I love it. And then you can see, what does I say? I put it all the way down to the bottom. I need to move it. Nick's digital business card and full contact information. And there is mobile optimized, my digital business card. And then of course they can search for properties near them. Oh, look, I'm in Joliet. There's the 10 nearest properties near me now. Uh-huh. So guys, that is it for today. I appreciate you being here. No, I'll take a clap. Yes, <laughs> nobody ever claps. I love it. Um, appreciate you guys very much. RPR mobile and how to create some hyper local content that's going to make you position yourself as an expert, no matter how long you've been in the business. Okay. You're just going to blow your mind. Nobody's teaching on this. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.